Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to upload an image from the internet into Design Space. I've gotten tons of questions on how to do this, so um, I thought I would show you. So I'm going to go to Google and let's, what kind of image do we want to do? Um, it's Valentine's Day, so maybe we'll do like a, oops. Um, maybe we'll do like a Cupid or something. See what we can find here. So I'm going to go to images. And so a couple of things here. So if I were to, you know, it depends what you're trying to do. If you're trying to cut out an image, um, any kind or layer an image, any of these, you know, would work for you. Um, this you could easily layer with different colors. Um, this one, on the other hand, since it has like this kind of fading in the hair, you might want to do a print then cut. So um, the only reason that matters is um, when you have to go back and um, clean it up later. Print then cut, it's really easy. You don't have to do much to it. But if you are trying to layer an image, that takes a little bit uh, more time. So uh, this one is actually... Let's uh, play with this one. A oh, this one's cute. Okay, let's do this one. We'll do this one. So I'm just going to right click this and I'm going to do save image as. So this is a JPEG image. So we can hit save. So we can see it's down here into in our, um, it's on our computer now. So now we're going to go back to Design Space and you just click Upload here. Go to Upload Image, hit Browse, and mine is going to be all the way at the bottom, but basically you're just going to find your image. Hit Open. Alright, so we have our image uploaded and I usually save all of mine as complex. Um, because I want to make sure that all of the details and the colors are going to come through. Um, in this one, it doesn't really matter. If we do simple or if we do moderately complex, it doesn't really change it too much. But I'm going to do it as complex so I can get all of the colors here. So I'm going to hit continue. And so this is where it's going to matter if you want to print then cut or if you want to save it as a layered image. So if you want to just print and cut, which is really easy if you have a printer available, all you would do is hit continue and you would save it here as a print then cut image. So here, if we save it as a cut file, obviously it didn't pick up on all the layers because it's just saving it as a solid image. So if you want to do print then cut, all you would have to do is save as a print then cut image and click save here. And then you would click this and insert it into your project. So now if you are like most people or how I was um, before I got a printer, I would need to layer this. And this is such a simple image, you could totally layer it with heat transfer vinyl, regular vinyl, anything like that. It's super, super duper simple. So let's say we want to layer it. So I would go back to upload image. I would find my image again. And now just keep in mind, this seems like a crazy weird process, but this is how I've learned um, how to layer my stuff. So. Um, we're going to save it, we're going to do it as a complex image again, hit continue. So now what we want to do is we want to basically save each one of these layers, each one of these colors individually. Okay, so my first layer might be this black outline. So if you want to keep this black outline, how I think works is so, I know this sounds counterintuitive to what I just said, but let's hit continue 
and let's save this as a cut file because basically this will be of our black solid layer so then we'll get these like little black lines here um, so it'll look like the cartoon so we're gonna click this we're gonna save it as a cut image and we're gonna hit save so now that's our gonna be our bottom bottom layer so now we're gonna start saving the other layers so we're gonna go to upload image again oh there's my logo <laughs> um, we're gonna find the image again complex now let's start saving our colored layers so um, there's three tools we have up here we have crop we have our eraser and we have our magic wand I guess select and erase so this is what I use for really um, I, I like using both of these actually I like this and I like this for different reasons so first we'll use our magic wand for right now so let's just save this yellow Winnie the Pooh layer first so basically I'm gonna take my magic wand here and I'm gonna click the red. I'm going to click everything that is not yellow. So click all of these little guys. Click this. And I'm also going to click this um, black outline. And the reason is, is we, cut, we don't need it because we are going to have that black under layer here that will serve as the outlines. So and you want to make sure that you really get everything. So see these little guys here? That will show up. So we want to, I'm going to take my eraser now. Because, I mean, could you imagine me just like trying to like click this little dot? It'll take forever. So this is where the eraser really comes in handy. So I'm just going to erase that, erase that. Um, now I'm going to switch back to my wand. Get rid of this little smile here get rid of all of this stuff and it's going to look real creepy but once we start to layer it it'll all make sense so I'm going to get rid of the thing I'm going to get rid of the heart and now I can go to my eraser because remember I'm only saving this uh, yellow layer so now I can just erase everything else that's not yellow which includes this whole piglet because none of it's yellow so right now, again, we're just saving the yellow layer. Okay. So now I'm going to hit continue. And I'm see now you can kind of see what it's going to look like. So I'm going to save it again as a cut image. So I'm going to hit save. So now we have our bottom layer. We have our Winnie the Pooh layer. Um, and we're going to go back. And we're going to just keep repeating this process for each color, each layer of the image. Same thing, nothing new. So now let's save the red here. Um, and I know this is technically pink, but just for time's sake, I'm gonna call this red. Um, so we can do that. We can get rid of everything besides the shirt and this little heart here. So I'm going to get rid of him, get rid of that outline again, get rid of his face, get rid of his arms, um, and then we'll get rid of most of Piglet, except for the um, heart there. So I'm going to switch to my eraser. And I'm going to zoom in here, switch back to my wand, and I'm going to get rid of this, go back, or no, actually I'll keep the wand, I'll get rid of his face, switch back to my eraser, get rid of that, get rid of this black line, oops. And there's an undo button here too. So those little black dots I'm not going to worry about. It's not going to make a big deal. 
hit continue. Again, save as a cut image. So I'll start to insert some of these so you can kind of get an idea. So this is the image we're working towards, remember? So I'm going to click here, click here, click here. You can see down here it's showing you what it's going to put on your mat. So we can hit insert images. All right, so that's our shirt. So we can come up here and change that color to red. Okay, this is going to be our yellow. So we're going to go back up here. We'll make him yellow. And then this is going to stay black. So now I'm going to start to layer this a little bit. So I'm going to put this like right here. Okay. Come here. Now we're going to put his shirt on. Oh, I must have missed his eyebrow there. But I can get rid of that. Okay. So now we'll go back to upload. We're going to now work on Piglet. All right, so now let's work on, uh, we'll do the dark pink of Piglet. So we're going to get rid of everything that is not dark pink. So basically all of Winnie the Pooh is gone. Get rid of him. You can switch to my eraser. Oops, darn it. My computer, if I like swipe too aggressively, it will just delete everything I've just done. So, like I said, we're just going to worry about the dark pink so we can use our eraser and just get rid of Winnie the Pooh here. Switch to my wand. So I'm just clicking these and they're going away. Now I'm just going to erase the little remnants that are left. Okay switch back to my wand and we can zoom in here too which makes it really easy to see these little tiny 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 areas okay get rid of the piglet outline uh, we'll get rid of this we'll get rid of the heart in general because we're only worried about the dark pink right now not this light pink so we'll keep her nose. Is Piglet a boy or a girl? I honestly don't remember. Okay. Oh, and her feet. His feet. I don't know. All right. So now we'll hit continue. Again, save it as a cut file. Hit save. We'll click on it and we'll insert it to our mat. And we'll make this the like a dark pink. Let's see, find a darker pink here. Now oh, that works. All right, so then we will throw this over our mat or on our layers here. So now we will, I think the only thing we have left is the light pink um, part of the image. So we'll go back, do the same thing. So now I'm just worried about the light pink parts of Piglet over here. So I'm just going to completely demolish Winnie the Pooh here <laughs> with my eraser. So get rid of him. Click our magic wand and we'll get rid of all the dark pink parts that are not, we'll get rid of the outline. So anything that is not this light pink, I'm just going to hit my little magic wand, go switch to my eraser here, we'll change the size, get rid of this little stuff. Now I'm going to zoom in so I can get the eyes. So 
So I'll switch back to my magic wand. I'm just going to click here, click here, and click here. That looks insane. So now we'll hit continue and we'll save it as a cut file and we'll insert it to our mat and we'll save this as a light pink so now we're just gonna put this over here I try to line it up as best as I can so now we have a layered image here so now when we go to make it we can see all of our colors here so we have our bottom layer we have our red t-shirt layer we have our light pink piglet we have Winnie the Pooh and then we have the dark pink um, piglet so that's basically it so you could do vinyl with this <clears throat> You could do HTV, whatever you want. But now you know how to upload an image into Design Space, and you know how you can either do a print then cut, or you also know how you can layer it. So I hope this was helpful. I know Winnie the Pooh has a creepy red eyebrow right here, but that was my fault. I've missed that. Um, so if you found this helpful, Make sure you leave me a comment, like this video, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified. And happy crafting!